Hi guys, welcome back to another video or welcome along if you're new to the channel. This time I'm going to be showing you another Chromebook. It's the HP 14A. Let's take a look. Okay, so just before we get started with how I paid £200 for this Chromebook and the buying advice, do check down below in the video progress bar. You'll see there are bookmarks, you can skip ahead. You'll find those in the video description down below as well. And you'll also get the links to the item and the full spec at hp.com via that video description as well. So please do check that out. So I'm about to show you my recording off eBay before I purchased this device back in February, but here's a screenshot right now, April 2021, showing you that if you use the code POCKET15 on eBay in the UK, you can pay just over £200, the same price I paid back in February. Okay, so here's the eBay UK listing for the HP 14A Chromebook. Um, it's a grade A refurb, we'll look at the description on that in a minute, and it's from Curry's Clearance, so hoping that everything is okay here. Um, um, right now, just as I'm purchasing, they've got a 15% uh, off voucher on eBay for selected sellers. So actually the list price of 23920 is going to reduce by £35.88 to bring it to just over £203. So I think that's a really good price for this Chromebook. We'll look at the spec in a minute and I'll explain why that's looking good. Um, so coming further down the page, seeing the detail of this particular model uh, listed with the Intel Pentium Silver N5000 processor. More on that in just a minute. It's 64 gig of storage, 4 gig of RAM, uh, IPS full HD screen, but it's a non touch screen. So I know that'll put some people off, but I think actually for a user who's not going to take advantage of that touch screen so much, I think this is a really good buy at just over £200. Um, grade A refurbished, so Curry's Clearance giving their description of exactly what they mean by that here. Um, so it should be in like new condition, might turn up in a generic box, um, but it's going to come with the USB um, C power cable and a adapter for charging um, so yeah I'm expecting it to be in like new condition so we'll see what turns up um, further down so again they're just reiterating the uh, fact that it's grade A refurb and then they've got the full specs listed here as I've highlighted some of the key points from already interesting as I say that they mention the N5000 processor um, as we go further down and just confirm the exact model variant here so let's just copy this and I'll just show you the spec over at HP and uh, just prove just double check my homework this is the same machine uh, they list it with the N5030 so 5030 processor so let's see what actually turns up um, could be an issue with the listing it could be an issue with um, the HP description or anywhere in between um, including me so let's see um, but overall if they ship this based on the price paid um, it looks like a really decent buy at the moment especially with the demand for Chromebooks okay so let's get into the unboxing of the device that I received so let's check out the spec on this box and see the processor so it is the n5030 the better processor as expected it has got the 64 gig of storage um, and it has got that full hd non-touch screen um, you can see by the box that it's been opened previously i've just cut into it now um, but that's basically exactly as it's sold it's a grade a customer refurb um, which is really how i recommend buying your Chromebooks so you can really pick up a bargain like this so it's probably just a customer return um, customer got it home found that it doesn't run Windows and has sent it back and then it's for you to take advantage of and pick up really a pretty cheap decent Chromebook so here's everything out of the box um, you've obviously got some paperwork as you may expect we don't really need to look at that at all um, not too much to do with the setup that you can't guess for yourself um, under that I can see we've got the USB-C power adapter. One thing to comment on this power adapter with the machine, uh, that brick is really quite light, um, pretty small um, compared to some others that I've received. So although it's a bigger Chromebook, not necessarily the lightest for traveling, uh, the brick itself is pretty light. So just take a look inside. Um, and of course you can use that USB-C to charge your phone or 
other devices that require a 45 watt or lower input. A um, bit of a, a weird branding on there, but you can see the HP logo in the top left there. And there's the USB-C connection. So yeah, all your essentials, e.g. power. And then we've got the Chromebook uh, wrapped up nicely underneath. Uh, now, as I mentioned, I paid about £200 for this after that voucher code that I showed you, and that's about €233 Euros or $277. US dollars. Uh, it's Curry's Clearance who are selling it in the UK, and if you follow me on Twitter, I do occasionally tweet out when I see a bargain like this. So if you are looking for your next Chromebook, do check the video description, perhaps give me a follow there. Here's the Chromebook now starting to come to life a bit, a bit more paperwork, some safety warnings to uh, get out of the way, um, but of course ensure you stay safe with your Chromebook and I'm sure everybody is reading all of that, uh, maybe not. And here it is, so this kind of very matte white top, the reflective mirror sort of HP logo that circle in the middle there, and you've just got that simple um, Chromebook logo branding on top as you would find. On the bottom there, it's completely sealed. There's no fans, there's no speakers or grills or anything on the bottom, so quite nice to see. Um, it does get a little bit hot now and then when you're really sort of pushing it or using it for a while, uh, but not really a problem. And then on the right, you've got full-size USB port and a USB-C port. You'll find the USB-C port around on the left-hand side as well. You can charge on either side, so that's quite nice depending on your desk setup. You've also got a headphone jack and a micro SD card slot there as well. Now it is a full plastic body. Um, you're probably picking that up from this and it is a more budget uh, Chromebook as you can see from the price that I've paid and that you could pay right now. But you are getting some nice features. Um, you know, it's a 14 inch full HD screen. It's not touch, so again, you know, you have to get some compromise somewhere. You've got those B&O speakers on the front there facing up, much better than having them underneath. Um, you've got a nicely spaced keyboard. The key travel, um, there's a fair bit of depth to it. I'm not sure it's my favorite, but it's good enough at, at this price point. The trackpad is very large. It works perfectly well as you'd expect, but I just feel like it does feel a bit cheap, a bit plasticky, um, almost like there's a kind of loose feel to it, but, but it's not loose, it, it works well, but it's just, part of the sign of, of this being uh, a feature rich Chromebook at a decent point but certainly at the budget end um, so yeah the welcome screen pops up as you expect it would do on any Chromebook if a Chromebook's new to you it's very simple you just get signed in with your Google account and you're away there's a few choices to run through as you'd expect but nothing too much um, so yeah here you can see um, get a bit of a, an impression of the size of it again you can see those ports on the side um, and yeah, it's it's nice looking. Although it's white, I was fearing that it was going to um, be a fingerprint magnet or collect, you know, dirt and show that. It's it's really not. Um, as I mentioned here, it's not the heaviest, it's not the lightest, but you're about 1,317 grams there weighing it in. So certainly not the, the heaviest Chromebook out there, but not the lightest by any means either. So for a size comparison now and a screen comparison, I've got it alongside the Acer Spin 311 that I've shown on the channel. So on the right, you've got the 14 inch full HD screen from the HP and on the left, you've got the 720 uh, screen from Acer, 11.6 inch form factor. So you can get an impression of the extra screen real estate you can get on the HP there. Of course, the HP is a non-touch screen and the Acer Spin 311 is a touch screen. It's really about where your priorities lie and what you'll benefit from most in form factor and feature. So for around the same price when I bought them, about that £200 mark, do you want the smaller machine with the touch screen with the lower resolution or that larger machine without the touch screen? So just show you a bit of gaming for performance on here, so a bit of Roblox, so it all runs very nicely as you'd imagine with the Intel Pentium Silver processor. 
Um, general performance, day-to-day -day browsing, Android apps, very zippy. Um, I've never had any lag or problem there. I have had the odd weird glitch uh, with the screen, um, but I think that's actually been fixed in a recent update. I haven't experienced it for a while. Battery life as well. I think I'm typically seeing seven to eight hours of life. Just depends on what I'm doing, how bright I've got the screen, etc. But a very capable um, Chromebook in the performance department for this kind of price point. One slight oddity or annoyance for some people on this Chromebook I've seen mentioned is this blink of the LED and it's on both sides when the machine is in sleep. And of course it's in sleep mode most of the time when you're not using it because you're just simply going to shut the lid rather than click to completely power it off. Um, so it can be a bit annoying for some people I have seen it mentioned so worth being aware of that. Worth calling out a couple of other plus points to this Chromebook. So it's pretty rapid at recharging its battery. Um, in an hour, it can go to 80% battery capacity. In an hour 35, I was getting to 100%. So really making it very usable. The other thing I noticed particularly on this Chromebook was the quality of the webcam for video calls like Google Duo, etc. Um, really nice quality. I think it's a 720p camera and you don't always get that on the more budget end Chromebook. So overall, I hope I've given you a good impression of this Chromebook. Do make sure you check the exact spec of the HP 14A you're looking at because they really can vary. The processors, the screens, things like backlit keyboards can vary on them all. Um, so see the exact link to this model in the video description down below and you can find others there on hp.com as well. Uh, if you found the video useful, please do give it a thumbs up. It really helps. It's really appreciated. And if you'd like to check out some of the other videos on the channel, please, of course, go ahead and do that. And please do consider subscribing. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.